Good morning, friends. It's Katie Steinberg here, and it is a travel day for me, so I am coming to you from a different time zone and a different location, um, but still wanted to check in. And um, part of what's on my mind in regards to traveling is just all the unexpected things that can happen along the way, and that that can feel chaotic, that that can feel um, sort of derailing. And, uh, and that's true whether you're traveling or just in life, you know, when those things come up that are not expected, um, that are hard, that are um, sort of pulling you from your intended trajectory. And, uh, and it's got me thinking about all the times that that happens along Jesus's way, you know. All, most of the stories we have of, of Jesus are not of him, you know, choosing a destination, getting there as efficiently as possible, and achieving whatever uh, he intended. You know, there's just diversion after diversion after diversion in some cases where people die along the way because, because uh, in theory, because he didn't get there on time. Um, but then we also have stories of uh, trusting that into God's hands, of miraculous healing, of uh, people being touched, being cared for along the way too. So I guess the conclusion it kind of has me thinking in terms of is sort of trusting the process and, um, you know, s stay calm, do what's in front of you, and, uh, and, and leave the rest to God. That seems like what Jesus did, to me anyway, uh, most of the time. And uh, when these unexpected things come up, crises or, um, you know, just diversions, can we have enough faith to give them the attention that they need uh, and trust that nothing will, um, you know, stop without our attention? Um, we can do what's in front of us, do the next right thing, breathe deeply, um, trust our connection with the divine, and, uh, and know that, that whatever it is will pass. And at some point, at least in my experience, the whole story starts to make sense. Um, both the tragedies, the intended things, the things that felt like calling, and the things that felt like devastation, all of them start to make some kind of strange sense in the story of the arc of life. And um, so what that tells me is that my primary job is to stay connected uh, to God, to the divine, to higher power. Um, I don't think God's super picky about what we call them. And uh, Stay focused on that and do the next right thing. And I know that can be hard to know what's the next right thing, um, but pausing, breathing, prayer, reconnecting, always seems to be a right thing. Um, so if you're confused about what's the next right thing, choose a next right thing. And, uh, and trust that you will get to where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. May it be true for you in whatever diversions are uh, expected, unexpected, things that happen along your way, your travels, your journey. And um, may you have great peace knowing that you don't go alone. Grace and peace, friends.